Welcome to 3 Minutes Fix. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use Google Drive Index effectively. I had previously posted two videos on this topic, but unfortunately they no longer work for some users. The requirements remain the same as mentioned in my earlier videos. I'll keep this tutorial as quick and straightforward as possible. Let's get started. For this to work, we need a Cloudflare worker domain. It's also possible to use your own domain, but based on my experience, I'd say it's better to stick with the Cloudflare subdomain for better results. Now that we have the domain ready, it won't work immediately. The DNS propagation for Cloudflare may take a few minutes to a few hours to become active. In the meantime, we'll proceed to create OAuth for Google. Once your project is ready, the next step is to enable the Google Drive API for your project. This will technically allow API access to all files in your Google Drive. However, Cloudflare will only be able to access the specified folder. Under the API and Services side panel menu, Select OAuth Consent Screen. The steps here are straightforward, so I won't go into detail to avoid any distractions. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Now. Under Credentials, create an OAuth client. This will generate the client ID and client secret which provide access to your project. Make sure to keep them confidential and never share them with anyone, unlike what I'm doing here. As I said earlier, it's a good idea to download this and keep it safe. It will be useful in the later part of this video. To use the OAuth Playground with Google APIs and obtain a refresh token, first open the OAuth Playground. Then in the Settings, Gear icon, enable the option Use Your Own OAuth Credentials and enter your client ID and client secret from the Google Developer Console. On the left panel, search for the Google Drive API and select the necessary scopes. After that, click Authorize APIs to proceed with the authentication. Here's the problem. Google claims our app is not verified, so we need to verify our app to pass the check. To do this, you can now simply go to the Audience menu in the Google Developer Console. From there, click on the Publish tab, and it will prompt you with an option to publish to production. If you wish to share this with others, you will need to verify your app with a logo and other details, but for now, there's no need. Now, when we resubmit, it asks us to verify our app. Since this is a one-time process, we don't need to do it for now, and it's your own API. Just proceed anyway. Now on the playground, press the blue button that says Exchange Auth Code with Refresh Token. It will give you the refresh token that Cloudflare workers are waiting to see. Now, copy all of this into Notepad and switch to Cloudflare. It's also best to add them directly in worker.js to save time later. So now, in Cloudflare, we need to press Edit, Copy and Paste our code, and press the Publish button. 
This will give us the Worker File Manager interface. As you can see, we don't see any data or folders here. The reason, as you might guess, is that our Cloudflare cannot access the root folder due to recent changes in Google Drive. So we need to create a folder and add a movie or a clip inside it. Now that we have our folder, simply copy the folder URL, also known as the folder ID, which is required by our Cloudflare workers. Paste it into the root variable in your worker.js. Once this is done, our files can be accessed and downloaded without any trouble. Some of you may have doubts about whether the URL expires. I can confidently say it does not expire as I've had URLs for more than a few months. However, if you want to make the URL temporary, you can do that by exploring the worker.js file. It has a lot of customization options, including adding login features. And we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope this six minute video was useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. I didn't provide a time estimate, but I'll try to cover the latest updates for the Do Movie app tutorial. While creating this tutorial, my domain was down due to server upgrades, so I apologize for the delayed videos. I'll continue posting once the domain is back up, which should be in one or two days. By the way, if you have time, just let me know if this new voice mark is good or not. If possible, in future videos, we'll make it a constant so it becomes a permanent signature voice of the channel.